Breaking news tonight, a day of mourning in Nebraska as an officer is killed in the line of duty. He was always helping out staff, checking up on staff, making sure they had everything they needed. Soresco police officer Ross Bartlett was escorted by a large law enforcement procession today. Good evening everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Mackenzie Johnson. A sad day for many in the area. Bartlett was killed last night in a crash on Highway 77 north of Lincoln. He's being remembered for a life devoted to service. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider joins us live from where the crash happened. Matthew? Last night, just after 7.30, Officer Ross Bartlett was making a traffic stop here at Highway 77 and Little Salt Road, just south of Soresco. Officials say that during that stop, his patrol car was hit from behind by a pickup truck. The speed limit here on the highway is 70 miles per hour. The Nebraska State Patrol says that Officer Bartlett and the driver of the Nissan Altima he pulled over were both inside their vehicles parked on the shoulder when the crash happened. Bystanders and first responders provided aid to Bartlett before he was flown to a hospital in Lincoln. He was pronounced dead Friday evening. He really brought a lot to, uh, to our department. He, he was a really, really, really professional officer and a, his personality was outstanding. I'm going to miss him dearly and I'm blessed that our paths crossed. The driver of the Nissan was also hurt in the crash, but his injuries were not life threatening. The driver of the pickup didn't have any serious injuries. Bartlett had been an officer with Soresco since 2017 and also worked as a volunteer firefighter for the town. On top of all that, he was an investigator for the Nebraska Department of Correctional Services. He also worked at several other law enforcement agencies throughout his career, including the Boone County Sheriff's Office, the Madison County Sheriff's Office, the Madison Police Department, and the Newman Grove Police Department. Corrections Director Rob Jeffries says Bartlett was committed to his work and will be remembered. It's not just um, a loss for us standing behind this podium, but it's going to be a loss to a lot of the lives that he's touched as they've been part of the NDCS family. He was loved. He will be missed, but he will be forever internally loved by all. The State Patrol is conducting an investigation of the crash, which will be presented to the Lancaster County Attorney's Office. For right now, no one has been charged. Reporting in Lancaster County, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News. Thank you, Matthew. And as he showed in his story, flags are being flown at half staff for Officer Bartlett. Governor Jim Pillen ordered all flags in the state to be flown at half mast until Bartlett's burial. Pillen says, quote, I share my deepest condolences with the family, friends and coworkers. And continuing our team coverage, a procession brought Bartlett's body to Lincoln from Omaha, where his autopsy was performed. There was a big crowd out to support his family. We spoke with some people who knew Bartlett. A procession for a fallen hero on Saturday as a long line of law enforcement vehicles honor Officer Ross Bartlett. It was an emotion-filled day as those who knew him gathered on O Street to watch. Bartlett is also an investigator with the Nebraska Department of Correctional Services. Some of his co-workers wanted to show their support as his body was brought to the funeral home. He was always helping out staff, checking up on staff, making sure they had everything they needed. So we decided to come out here and show our support for Ross and his family. Here's a video citizen journalist Brian sent in to our now local news app of the procession. It was taken on O Street today as dozens of people watched motorcycles and police vehicles escort Bartlett. Edelman was there with several other co-workers who say Bartlett was always going out of his way to help others and was well respected by all who knew him. And other officials made statements today on the tragic death. Senators Deb Fisher and Pete Ricketts, Mayor Leary and Gaylor Baird, and Representative Mike Flood posted their condolences on X, formerly known as Twitter. Flood writing on his own personal ties to the fallen officers, saying, quote, Ross's service in law enforcement took him to multiple communities in our state, including Madison, where I personally worked with him and respected him. In addition to his career as a, as a peace officer, he loved being a volunteer fireman and had a great sense of humor. According to the Officer Down Memorial page, a total of 17 officers have died in automobile crashes in Nebraska. 
This is the first officer to have died in a car crash since 2019 and the only officer to die in the line of duty this year. Car crashes are the second leading cause of on-duty deaths for Nebraska officers, the first being gunfire.